Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. We all know that Photoshop's Generative Fill is a groundbreaking tool to remove unwanted objects or expand an image using AI. But the limitation of Photoshop's Generative Fill is the resolution, as it can only generate a maximum of 1024 by 24 pixels. So if you try to generate pixels and zoom in, you can really see the quality difference. Well, Unmesh from PixImperfect created a compositing plugin to fix this problem. And in this video, I will show you how it works. By the way, this tool is completely free. I will put the link in the video description on where you can download this plugin. So let's start with this image. And let's say you want to remove the lady in red jacket. We open the PixImperfect compositing tool right here. If you don't see it, just go to Plugins, Fix Imperfect Compositing. Then using the lasso tool, we draw a selection around the lady. Then on the compositing tool, we go to the high res gen fill section right here. We can choose the tile size between 200, 500, and 1000, which it will generate. For this image, 500 will do. Then we click this broken square icon right here. This fills an existing selection, tile by tile. And now all we have to do is wait until all the tiles have been generated. Depending on the size of your selection, it could take some time generating those pixels, so be patient. I will go ahead and fast forward this step. And after a few minutes, it is done. It did an amazing job removing the subject. Let's zoom in and check the quality. And as you can see, the generated pixels are high quality and matches the original image. I'm really happy with the result. Now I will show you Photoshop's generative fill and compare its quality with PixImperfect's high-res gen fill. So again, using the lasso tool, we select the subject, open the contextual taskbar by going to Window, Textual Taskbar, and then click Generate. And it's done generating the pixels. Let's zoom in and check the resolution. And as expected, it is pretty obvious that it's quite blurry. And it has a lower resolution, especially on these areas compared to the original image. Even here on the rock, you can see the difference. So from now on, I will be using PixImperfect's high-res gen fill tool instead of Photoshop's generative fill. Yes, generative fill is much faster as it generates all pixels in one go. And it may work for social media content. But if you really want the best image quality, you should use the high-res gen fill as it is worth it. Alright, now let's move on to the next example. This time, we want to expand this image. So we select the Crop tool, drag the bounding box to expand, and for the fill, make sure it is set to Transparent. Then hit Enter. Then go to PixImperfect's high-res gen fill, and click this checkered square icon right here. This fills all transparent areas of the image tile by tile. The previous icon we used fills a selection. So that is different. And if we click this, nothing happens because there is no selection. For this image, let's choose 1000. So it will generate bigger tiles. Then we click this checkered square icon right here and wait for the process to finish. Now 
And that's it! Let's look closely on the image. Again, if we zoom in, the quality is excellent. Even here at the bottom. It clearly matches the resolution of the original image. Now let's compare it with Photoshop's Generative Expand. Again, we use the Crop tool, adjust the size, and here in the Fill section, select Generative Expand, and click OK. And then click Generate. So it's done expanding the image. Let's check the result. And as you can see, the generated pixels is quite blurry. The difference is night and day. So from now on, I don't recommend using Photoshop's default generative AI tools. Piximperfect's high-res genfill is far more superior. So download the free compositing tool right now. Link is in the video description. That is all for today's video. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button, subscribe for more photo editing tips like this, and click the bell icon to turn on notifications. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.